And I know what you're thinking. Oh, here we go again. Another video from them Instagram gurus who's going to sell me on a course, doesn't know what they're talking about, is going to funnel me to some website. If that's what you think this video is all about, <laughs> let me tell you something. You're wrong. So go ahead and make sure you guys stick until the end of this video because I have some really great tips if you are a beginner and maybe if you're not a beginner and you just are confused and lost on this platform that makes no sense to you. What's going on everyone? I hope you're having an amazing day. My name is Dante Catlett, and if it's your first time on my channel, welcome. I talk about filmmaking, photography, digital media, marketing, and so much more. So at any point you enjoy this video, go ahead and smash that like button, comment down below, and let me know if you have any tips for beginner Instagrammers, if you have any questions, because I will make sure to get back to you guys. Also, make sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of my content and hit that bell icon so you get a notification every time I upload a new video. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the video and talk about 10 tips for Instagram beginners. I want to let you know why you should stick until the end of this video because I have a lot of value. I've been working in the digital media world, photography and videography, and I've been able to cover Instagram as a whole entire platform since the infancy, since it was conceived. I've worked with a lot of brands that you may know. Coca-Cola, Mercedes-Benz, Levi's, Pretty Little Thing, and so many other brands. I've worked with celebrities. I've also worked with influencers and helped them develop their YouTube channels. I've also been able to amass an audience size of over 1 million people. That's followers and subscribers across multiple platforms being YouTube, Instagram, Facebook. And I've also been able to reach over half a billion people organically with no paid marketing all through Instagram. That's right. So if you're a beginner to Instagram, I'm sure you're wondering to yourself, what is Instagram? I've got the answer for you. Instagram is a social media platform that allows you to upload photos, videos, and moments to share with your friends, family, and other people globally around the world. According to Instagram statistics, it boasts that it reaches over 1 billion monthly users on a monthly basis, and that number's only growing. So before we dive deep into Instagram and end into some endless rabbit hole, which I'm sure we all have been there before, we click on one picture, and then we find ourselves watching fail compilations, then we find ourselves watching a crying baby, comment down below if that's happened to you. So that brings me on to tip number one. Identify your goals before you get onto Instagram. You want to understand if you're going to be using Instagram for personal use, for business, or if you're just using it to inspire people and to build a personal brand on this platform. These are the qualifying questions that you want to ask yourself before you hop onto this platform. Identifying goals early on is going to paint a clear path of where you want to take your Instagram from the very beginning, saving you a lot of time. Myself, personally, I love a lot of things. I love food, music, filmmaking, photography, beatboxing, and so much more. So that brings me on to my second tip. Pick a niche and stick with it. It doesn't matter if you're a farmer, if you're a DJ, if you love music, if you like Care Bears, hey, if that's your thing, My Little Pony, there is a niche for it on Instagram. So when you pick your niche, you have to think about what you truly love to do, what you wanna inspire people to do. If, it, if you're just going onto the platform to share photos with people, then have at it, do whatever you wanna do. If you're looking to growing Instagram as a personal brand or as a business, it is imperative for you to identify the niche that you are targeting from the very beginning. So make sure it's something that you actually love. For example, for the longest time, I didn't know what I wanted to do with my Instagram page, and that's okay. What I would do in that case is I would build out two separate accounts for yourself. So that way you have your personal where you can share with your friends and family, and then you have your other page where it's more focused on your personal branding. So I have a page for my beatboxing, and then I have a page for business, filmmaking, and photography, because that all kind of goes together. So what if you're like me and you love multiple things and you don't really wanna manage two accounts because you already think that running one account is too much work. As long as the two niches are together in the same exact category, like let's say for example you enjoy fashion and you enjoy beauty those two categories could definitely work together and live on one Instagram page and don't be discouraged if you go onto Instagram and you think like oh man I can't make it in the fashion the beauty niche because it's so overpopulated and oversaturated saturation is actually a really good thing because it tells you that there is a lot of people that love this community so what I would advise you to do is just find a way to be different 
how do you stand out from the rest? Maybe you're really great at taking selfies. Maybe you're the best at makeup. You're the best at styling outfits. Figure out who your competition is, who's inside of this niche with you, who can you work together with, take away things that other people are doing, and recognizing patterns to make your personal brand successful. But what I would recommend you doing is to create your identity. And you do this by using all of the Instagram features that it gives you. So the first thing that I would advise you to do is to go ahead and scroll onto your phone and create an icon for yourself. Maybe this is a logo, maybe it's a really great high quality photo of yourself that shows you for who you are and your personality. It's easy to see, it's clear, it's got bright vivid colors so anybody on the feed can see you. Whether it's being suggested to them, you're sending somebody a DM, or you're popping up in their notification and mentioned feeds, it's very important to stand out from the rest. The second thing to building your identity on Instagram that I would focus on is the description that it allows you to type. As soon as people click onto your page, they wanna know a couple of things about you who you are, what you do, maybe even where you're from because they love to connect with other creators. And also, how can they find out more about you? Maybe it's a link to your YouTube channel, your website, or if it's a brand and they really love the aesthetic of your page, they wanna contact you. So make sure all of that's really easy to look at. I'll throw up an example of one of my pages to show you exactly how easy it is to be discovered. So for example, where my location is at, I'll drop a little location pin and I'll put from San Francisco to LA. Or another thing that I'll do is if I'm into filmmaking or photography, I'll put that emoji there and then I'll also list it there down below. I'll also include my email and then I'll tell people if they wanna learn how to beatbox or if they wanna learn a tutorial about filmmaking or entrepreneurship to click the link down in my bio so that way they know that there is a call to action when they're on my page and they're not getting bored and it's easy. They know exactly who I am, what I'm all about, where I'm from if they wanna connect and then also how they can reach me. So the next step that I would do is to make sure to upload one to three different posts on your page. Even if you have one post, it's better than zero posts but three is better than one for sure in this case. This is gonna allow you to reach a community with your first three posts by using hashtags, by using geolocation tags, by tagging other people. So that way, when people click onto your page, it's not just a blank account. If people see a blank account and you have a bio and you have the, the nicest picture in the world, don't think you're gonna get all the followers in the world because it takes consistency, it takes posts that stand out, and it takes creativeness to really make it on Instagram. So that's what I really would recommend you to do. I would even post nine posts on there, not all at once, but periodically, maybe two or three a day. You don't have a ton of followers, so you don't have to worry about losing followers. The main goal is to make sure that when somebody clicks on your page, they're gonna stick because they're inspired or they feel that you create something that they really want to follow you for. One thing that I like to say is that Instagram and social media is like an art and science at the same time. You have to understand the psychology of how people act and you also have to be very artistic and poetic with your posts. You wanna make sure that you're building an organic audience by being able to tell your story. Now that you have your one to nine posts up on your page, as soon as those posts go up, something I would highly recommend you to do is putting at least one or two hashtags in your actual caption and then in the comments depending on how many you have used in your caption you're allowed 28 total hashtags that means that you have 28 possibilities of somebody discovering you on these hashtags so long as your post sticks out so now that you have your page set up it's time to start growing your following, which brings me on to my next step, cultivating an organic audience. So cultivating an organic audience is a lot easier than people think. If you think about, oh man, this is gonna take so much time to do, I don't have the time to do this. Evaluate where you're spending your time. If you really wanna take this thing serious, if you hate your day job and you wanna leave your day job, then you have to think about where all of your time is going. I mean, you only work eight to 10 hours a day, then after that you've got to commute, then they're sleeping in the day. What about the rest of the time? Are you playing video games? Are you on apps? Are you watching TV and binge watching Netflix series? You need to evaluate that time and shift some of that time over to building your Instagram page and your social media following and your personal brand if you really want to take it serious. Tell everyone about your Instagram page. Don't come off as spammy and saying, oh, please, please follow me on my Instagram page. I need more followers. Nobody likes that. Instead, give them a reason why they should follow your page. If you know that certain friends and family love fashion and love beauty and they're looking and always asking you for the latest makeup or whatever it is, that's how I would get them to follow my page. I would say, hey, look, 
uh, Joan, John, Betsy. I know that you really like fashion. I'm gonna be uploading these outfit of the days. I'm gonna be giving out some different fashion tips and brands that I really like that are affordable. You should definitely follow my Instagram page. You see how that sounds versus, oh, please, please follow me, I need more followers. That's exactly how it would tell that. And that word of mouth would spread. As long as you're posting consistently, more people are going to be spreading your page by word of mouth, tagging their friends. The name of the game with Instagram is literally, it's a game, you know? And the name of the game is followers. Who has the most followers? High school never leaves us. This is all a popularity contest. So with that said, if everyone's goal is to create amazing content and get as many followers as they can possible that means that those people know five people those five people know ten people and so forth and so on so that's how word of mouth spreads with social media if you're already on facebook you're on youtube pinterest i would utilize those platforms to share and spread that word of mouth that you've started an Instagram page and that you're going to be uploading different types of content here that they can't find on Facebook and on YouTube. So that way you can create an engaging audience. So if you've already got a hundred followers here, don't be discouraged if all hundred don't jump to the next platform. You have to understand that some people just don't like the next platform and that's just how human nature works. So you might get 50 no's and you might get 50 yeses. It's better than zero yeses. You always have to have that mentality and that hustle. What I would do in this situation is join different Facebook groups. So we're sticking with the same niche, the fashion and beauty niche. I would go join different Facebook groups without sounding spammy, offering value and telling people to follow you on your Instagram page. I would create YouTube content around fashion and beauty and utilize that to get a different audience to drive that traffic to your Instagram page. So that way you have multiple streams of traffic coming into your Instagram page. Another thing, you have to make sure you utilize all of Instagram's features. There's so many tools within the application I feel like a lot of people forget about. You can activate and connect your Facebook account, you can connect your contact book, and it also suggests different people that you should follow. And that leads me into my next thing. Go onto the Explore page, find people who are posting similar things within your niche and take the time to write personalized messages, send them DMs, ask them questions, start cultivating these organic conversations in the comments section. Because odds are, if this influencer just uploaded a post and your post stands out and they comment on it, they like it, it's going to start gaining traction and more people will start liking it, leading them to your page with nine posts and they might stick. So you remember how I told you to Google the top hashtags in your niche? Well, here's what I would do. Take those hashtags, go into the explore page of Instagram, go up to the search bar, and then the next thing I would do is type in or copy and paste that hashtag into there, click on it, either go on popular posts or recent posts, find people who you like, like and comment, and follow those pages. Now don't start going on a random following spree unless you have the time to unfollow people because then you're just gonna be following people who are uninspiring. You're gonna wake up every day and say, who the hell is this person that I follow? I'm not inspired by them. And you're gonna lose that person as a follower. Sometimes they might stay because they really love the content you're putting out and they don't know that you unfollowed them because they don't have the unfollower app, but it's always good to follow people and maximize your time that you have within that platform. There's tons of more ways to be able to grow your page and grow your followers. If you guys want a video specifically on that, comment down below and let me know that, hey, we want a video on how to up my Instagram follower game. Like I said, Instagram has really great features on ways to be found and being able to cultivate a community organically, which brings me on to my next tip. Make sure you are utilizing all of Instagram's features. A lot of people don't realize this, but if you're not utilizing all of Instagram's features, posting once a day is just not enough. Posting twice a day is just not enough. You have to be using Instagram stories because every time you update and you post an Instagram story, it moves you to the top of your followers Instagram story feed, or you can be found on the explore page. The other thing that you should be utilizing is Instagram TV. Something that I've been noticing, and here's a little secret for you guys, is that even if you're posting Instagram videos, you might have seen a drop in engagement recently. And that's because Instagram is weighing very heavy on Instagram TV videos. Don't believe me? They got an entire app separate just for Instagram TV. When you click on one, it doesn't bring you back to the place that you were at before. Instead, it suggests more Instagram TV videos. 
try this out and let me know in the comments if that worked out for you. Speaking of video, if you're not with the whole vertical video, then I would still recommend to posting some type of video content because it gets more reach on the explore page. Go ahead and look at the explore page and see which posts are promoted more. If you notice on the explore page, all of the photos are very, very small, even the multi-post slide ones. The videos are bigger squares and that is digital real estate that you wanna own because they promote and boost videos because they know on the platform, people stay to watch videos more than they do pictures. And I'm sure you notice this. If there's somebody who posted a picture and you really don't like the picture, you're just gonna keep swiping until something catches your eye. And that something is a video. You're aware of all the features that Instagram has to offer. How do you keep growing? posting consistently. All right, so now that you've learned about all of Instagram's features and how to properly utilize them, let's move on to the next tip, which is consistency is key. Now, if there's something that I know about Instagram that's true in every social media platform, it's that consistency is key because your audience is what makes and drives your engagement and your reach. So if they know that you post once a week, twice a week, every other day every day that's what they're going to be coming back for so if you're not consistent just like a tv series if the walking dead said there's an episode every thursday and they miss one thursday without any type of communication i'm going to lose interest in that show almost immediately and that's crazy how our brains think and where our attention goes and how quickly we can forget about things and someone. Here's another reason why you wanna stay consistent. Instagram's algorithm will promote you more if you are consistent. So if you're riding this wave and it's going up and all of a sudden you decide to not post, Instagram's gonna put you down in the ranks and that means less engagements for you. Next tip, set yourself apart. We already talked about this a little bit early on in the video, but setting yourself apart can really make or break your page, especially when you are starting out a lot of bigger pages that can shout you out are looking for smaller pages to shout out versus shouting out influencers because they know that influencers are willing to pay to grow their pages whereas somebody that's a smaller page they might just say hey may we use your content we really think it's dope and we'll make sure to credit you these are the ways that you can obviously grow your page also by setting yourself apart you'll get approached by different brands and possibly different media outlets who would love to collaborate with you use your work to promote on their media sites and different social media platforms the next tip i have for you is do not do not by any circumstances buy followers or buy likes this is one of the things that instagram hates more than anything and they'll do anything to stop you you might get your page disabled you'll lose a lot of followers. Brands that wanna work with you will definitely know that your engagements and your followers are fake just by using tools that I use to help brands identify which organic influencers they should utilize for their marketing strategies and their marketing campaigns. So just make sure to cultivate an audience. I know you wanna to get to 100,000 followers and a million followers as fast as possible, but just trust me, you will get there so long as you do the steps that I'm telling you, staying consistent, being different, utilizing all of the features on the platform. So before we get into the last two tips of the video, if you guys are enjoying this video, please smash that like button, comment down below what you think so far of this video. If you wanna see more videos like this, if you have any questions for me, leave them down below and I'll make sure to get to you guys after this video is up. Second to last tip that I have for you is do not spam pages. Pages hate being spammed with comments. You'll get nothing but hate from the community and you'll get a negative output. You might gain followers from it, but it's not the followers that you actually wanna reach. Instead of spamming the comments and using a bot and paying for that service instead take the time out of your day instead of commenting emojis to stand out if there's somebody that you really want to get their attention i would recommend turning on their post notifications so you are literally the first one or first couple of people to comment odds are they will be looking at the comment section so if you say something really genuine ask them a question about their day they will spark a conversation with you thus leaving your comment to the top having more comments underneath that feed, and hopefully getting a lot more likes, sending traffic to your page, meaning that you will be gaining a positive look in the community. And hey, you might make that person's day and they might actually follow you back, making your day. 
And the last tip that I want to tell you about is something that not a lot of people talk about here on this platform and not a lot of people have the knowledge about, which is do not make your page a business account. Instead, keep it personal. Even if you are a business account, you don't have to make it a business account, okay? It's not going to make you look less of like a business unless you absolutely need the swipe up Instagram story feature or you really need the analytics within the Instagram page, you can always switch your account from personal to business. And here's a tip. If you have an Instagram story that you absolutely need to have the swipe up feature, something I would recommend to do is to switch your account to a business account, post the Instagram story, save that story underneath the Instagram highlight, and it will be there forever, even if you turn your page back to a personal page. And here's why. Instagram already limits the amount of organic reach that you can get. If you've noticed, all of your followers do not comment and like on your posts when you do immediately, or maybe they do and it takes them till the next day to see your posts. And the reason for this is because Instagram is owned by Facebook, if you didn't know that, and their business models is to pay to play. Social media is literally a game. And if you've noticed, if you have a business account, there should be no reason why you should have one if you are under 10,000 followers, because this is going to limit the amount of organic reach and engagement that you could possibly be getting, which is going to take your page longer to grow. And here's why. When you put up a post, you'll notice that Instagram will say, hey, this post is doing really great. It's reaching more people than usual. Would you like to pay $5 to reach 25% more people? And this is something that a lot of people unfortunately fall for all the time because they want to pay to play. If you have the means to do so, then by all means use the features. Facebook has a really great algorithm with their advertising platform that allows you to really reach people that you want to. If you don't, keep your page a personal page. It'll allow you to reach the explore page a lot more frequently. And I know I'm gonna get somebody in the comments section that goes, well, Dante, how do you know this? Is this something that you can actually prove? Yes, it is something that I can actually prove. I've managed over 25 different Instagram accounts, and to this day, I managed 15. And some of those pages are niches that gets our pages disabled. So I'm constantly trying to figure out what is going on with the Instagram algorithm? Why is it that I have a page that has 100,000 followers that does not hit 100,000 views, but I have a page that is 20,000 followers and it's getting 100,000, 500,000 views? The difference is this. The page that's 100,000 followers was a business account. The one that is 20,000 followers was a personal account. They wanted me to pay to play on the business account, whereas the personal account, I didn't have to pay to play. So I was hitting on all hashtags and hitting on the explore page. And that's it, folks. I'm sure that was more than 10 tips, but those are my 10 tips for Instagram beginners. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, please leave them down in the comment section. I will be more than happy to address this. If you know somebody who's a beginner or just not Instagram savvy and needs some help, please share this video with them. Also, make sure to subscribe to this channel if you wanna see more videos like this. Hit that notification bell so I know you will get a notification. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. My name is Dante Catlett and I'm out. <laughs>